This video complements our paper submission discussing the use of either inverse or forward dynamics in direct transcription problems. Direct transcription is a powerful method to plan complex robot motions. It splits the trajectory into segments and represents the state of the robot at the beginning of each time segment. It also represents the control inputs which determine the evolution of the robot's state during that interval. Usually, the initial guess of the trajectory is not feasible, due to state mismatch from one time segment to the next. These mismatches are called defects. During optimization, the solver tries to eliminate these defects, connecting the segments. To better approximate the nonlinear dynamics of high dimensional systems, trajectories are discretized using small time steps. In summary, direct transcription takes the state of the robot and the control inputs as decision variables and tries to find a trajectory that satisfies the system dynamics as well as any other task related constraints. Our work discusses the approach used to enforce the dynamics of the system. The common approach is to use forward dynamics. However, it is also possible to use inverse dynamics. We evaluated and compared these approaches. Our results show that problems formulated using inverse dynamics were faster to solve, more robust to coarser discretizations, and took fewer iterations to minimize a cost function. Therefore, inverse dynamics should be preferred. We validated the trajectories generated by our framework with real-world experiments. Here, we show a quadruped robot jumping in place. The motion was planned offline and then played back on the robot. Our joint level PD controller feed forwards the optimal planned torques to each join and uses the position and velocity references as feedback. In the next video, the robot jumps forward by half a meter. We do not enforce specific feed positions during swing phases. This allows the solver to naturally find nice curved paths, such as the ones shown here. During performance evaluation, we tested different robots of varying complexity. Our work provides clear evidence that inverse dynamics should be used to enforce defect constraints for computational efficiency. Finally, we show that our approach scales well, even for very complex robots. Here, we show a humanoid performing a small jump. We use the same controller as in the quadruped demo. Our framework uses hard constraints to ensure reliable compatibility with real hardware. These experiments show that our trajectories are highly consistent with the dynamics of real systems and that they can be executed using a simple controller.